What's up, everybody? My name is Paul Davis Griffin, and I, I didn't write an intro for this one. You, you guys aren't stupid. We, we all know why we're here. This video's topic comes to you from Darn Hacking Juliet, who asks me to rant about memes, so I'm gonna do that. You got a problem with that? I, I don't need to explain myself to you. Fuck you, you know? Me and Juliet have an understanding. Little known fact, I, I like memes. I'm a little bit of a memer myself. I, I got like two or three blogs that I check regularly, have done so for years. All that being said, what the fuck even is a meme? You know, all these years, and I don't think I could explain it even if I tried. And you may think you know what a meme is, but trust me, by the end of this video, you're gonna be just as lost as I am. I typed meme into Google Images, and these are some of the first pictures that came up. First off, we have the long-awaited answer to is there cats in other galaxies? Here's a picture of a pun on Putin who's putting on prescription sunglasses positively precariously. And this is one of some poor child model who's just trying to sell some bendy straw glasses. Oh, I think I'm starting to get it. It's just pop culture references with text written over it, right? Well, not exactly, because this is also considered a meme. This one's a classic and... Yeah, it's pretty much just a picture of some dude's dog. Its face is like, I saw you steal that package of Twizzlers, and I'm not okay with it, but I did also see you steal a packet of Twizzlers for me. I don't know, by looking at this dog, I don't feel like I'm any closer to an answer. So maybe a meme is just as simple as a picture online that I could relate to? But I could relate to this lady, and at the same time, I don't think she's a meme. I know, I I'm just as disappointed with the rest of humanity, too. Let's me and you look at some pictures of memes and see how deep this rabbit hole really goes. This here's Grumpy Cat. Y'all know Grumpy Cat. Here's one of Jeremy Renner blatantly staring at Scarlett Johansson's cleavage. Shut up, so is me and every other straight guy on the planet. The only difference is Hawkeye actually has a chance. This child's a goldmine for some therapist somewhere. <laughs> this is a picture of Tom Hardy with text explaining that his face always looks like he's charging his phone across the room and someone almost touched it. Surprisingly accurate. I wonder if he makes the same face when he poops. Keep in mind, every single one of these is classified under the exact same art form. Memes. I feel like we're starting to narrow into something here. I mean, I'm gonna make my own meme right now. You, you just take otherwise normal pictures and you edit DJ Khaled into them. Are you and your family looking for a cute little cat to adopt? Look no further. DJ Khaled has all the answers. He's cute and cuddly. Trying to learn about when the dinosaurs went extinct about 65.5 million years ago? Boom! DJ Khaled knows the answers. He was there! Enjoy watching Survivor, but you don't feel like you're getting nearly enough dope beats? Boom! Calidified! Can we talk about for a second how DJ Khaled is the only celebrity I've ever seen with a workout tape and 200 extra pounds? What was the best song of 2015? 2015? Yeah. <laughs> Every DJ Khaled song I ever put out in 2015. That's like me going to Mike Tyson for help in my homework. It, it's like, dude serves up a mean right hook, but I wouldn't expect him to know anything about theoretical sciences. What's going on, guys? I, I'm so confused. It's like, are, are memes just funny things you can find on the internet? Is this video a meme? Am I a meme? Is Oh my god, I'm a meme. My life isn't even a joke, it's just a meme. It's, it's just full of overprotective girlfriends and cats eating cheeseburgers, which I'm 95% sure is not good for my cats. What does the internet come to? It makes no sense. It, we, we can't even define what we like anymore. Okay, let's end this. Let, let's look up the Google definition of meme right now. An element of culture or system of behavior that may be considered to be passed from one individual to another by non-genetic means, especially imitation. What? That is so broad, anything could fit into this. Hairstyles are memes, tattoos are memes, thug walking's a meme. What do you think, cosplayers are walking memes? They're representing pop culture references by non-genetic means. So what does that mean for Ben Affleck? Is he just a living meme now? I mean, it would explain why Superman vs. Batman was so stupid. His family must be so disappointed that he's literally the exact same thing as this picture of Iggy Pop's torso. It just looks so sad, I mean, I want to buy it an ice cream and ask it about its day. I'm sorry, Google definitions, but I'm pretty sure that this picture of sexy Harley Quinn is not a meme, but this one is. <laughs> Less sexy though. The best definition that I can possibly give is memes are just inside jokes that are posted online. Memes that are easily relatable, like pop culture references, get passed around the most, and these are the memes that we all know and love. That doesn't mean that a funny picture that's just passed around between you and your friends isn't a meme. However, maybe one of the great things about memes is that it doesn't make any sense, and it just serves as another weird part of the internet, like cat pictures or weird workout videos from the 90s. I've always thought of memes as filling the same void as Sunday comics when I was a kid, quick and meaningless humor that I'm probably not gonna remember tomorrow, which had a huge creative impact on the weird-ass 24-year-old brain that's trying to entertain you right now. Explains a lot, right? <laughs> well, that, that and cocaine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just coffee. I'm drinking coffee. Drinking coffee laced with cocaine. Drugs are bad and don't do that. And I think that's where I'm going to cut myself off today, guys. I'm sure you guys have important things to do like 
like sharing and subscribing. And if you're craving more content, you can hop on over to my new channel, Scab Attack, where me and my buddy Najee Banks play copious amounts of Minecraft while talking about absolute nonsense. We've been having a good time. If you have a topic that you want to hear me ramble endlessly about, you can let me know in the comment section, or you can let me know on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Those links are in the description. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. And before I go, I just want to say, fuck you, Tina! Hey, I know what you did to that prairie dog! He had a name, and he had a little suit that I made for him! And now he's never gonna make it to that job interview! Bye, guys! Another one. 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 And another one.